all the musicians that you know that have became rave of the moment where are they today wow but we still we still have some people that have been singing for 50 years and they're still alive and they're still, they still singing trendy. look into comedy think back in the last 30 years all the people used to hear their name where are they today mm. but there are still people that have been there and they're still there look into nollywood look look into football yes it's true look into football people that used to play uh -huh. now how many of them are you still hearing their name in the last um, game that they played this last one that they finished not too long ago yes. you find out that in that game we still saw a lot of old players coming there to yes, watch at the stadium some people are now coaches yes. all the people that played with those people in those days where are they now they are still alive but why are they no more relevant yes, so your relevance stops where your impact stop relevance. your relevance stop where your impact, impact stop so when you stop making impact, you stop being relevant. There are people that are just one eat wonders. Yes. They sang one song. They sang one song. And the whole world was cut. Where are they today? They are so because yeah. they just blew. They just blew. Without yeah. growing. So if you jump up, you will come down. But if you grow up, you will stay up. So they are, I don't need to mention that everybody knows there are people that they have made the kind of money they have made in their lifetime. You will never believe that they will be poor. Actually, but today, okay. many of them are they are very poor so because it's not possible hmm. to make fast money. To make like there's a book that they say the millionaire fast lane and what it teaches about is generally how you can be able to f follow the fast lane rather than following the long grade so it's not possible to make fast work because when you talk about impacts and when you talk about people that will reign and pass most of the people like the footballers you mentioned football has a season it's seasonal so if i'm going to choose a field or a niche maybe i should now go to something that will not be seasonal music well, some, like you said, there are still some that are still trending to today. So is it possible to grow wealth fast, fastly? And this is, this is tech generation. People make money fast. Okay, so, you so know, I'm, long process. I'm very particular with the use of words. And um, you have used two words that are different, so I will need to break it down. Okay. At the beginning, you said, is it possible to make fast money? Yes. To make, then now you, you now said, is it possible to grow fast? So there are two differences. Okay. You can make money fast. You can't grow money fast. You can make money on a fast lane. Mm -hmm. You can have an album and you make money. You can go for a beauty pageant or you go for a reality show mm -hmm. and you win 100 million. Yes. You have become rich, but you are not wealthy. You have made fast money, mm -hmm. but you have not built wealth. So you cannot build wealth fast. You can't grow wealth fast, but you can make money fast. Wealth so making money. so making money is the elementary part of anybody, any stupid fool can make, can money. make money. But you can't become wealthy because you made money. There are people that have made money, but they are still poor. So making money is nothing. Anybody can make money. Once you are working, you make money. Once you are getting, and you are making money, but can you manage the money? Can you multiply the money? That is where, so true wealth is not cash based. Okay. True wealth is asset based. So you can be rich, yeah. yet you are not wealthy. To be rich is to have cash. To be wealthy is to have substance and to have assets that continue to produce without you having to work. Oh, okay. I think I'm getting a difference now. So, so wealthy is about having assets and substance. So when you say somebody is wealthy, yes. they don't need to work. Oh. They are, the money is working for them. That means they have built a lot, a lot of assets. Assets. Because in the world of finances, mm. I don't know, this is not a financial program, but let me try to educate people. Yes. You see, in the pyramid of wealth, yes. you have five sets of people. Okay. The first set of people you have are what we call people that are in financial crisis. Financial crisis. They are at the bottom of the triangle. They are in financial crisis. Nothing is working. They don't even, some of them don't even have a job. They are begging. Mm. Oh, Gen 2K, mm. help me. Yes, like, can yes. I say my account number? Mm. Poor people. But next to that are people that are what you call financial instability. They are not in crisis. Some of them work, but maybe they earn 50,000. By the end of the month, they have borrowed 20,000. Mm. So by the time they collect the next 50, they return. So they are, the money they, are, they take home cannot take them home. Mm. They are making money, but mm. the money is not enough for what they need. So they are unstable. Because, yeah, yeah, money is coming, but it's yeah, not yeah, enough. Today. Today. So tomorrow, maybe you sell market today, tomorrow you didn't sell market. Sell market. Uh, go this. So they are unstable. Then there is the third set of people, they are in what we call financial stability. Now, these are people that we call middle class, lower, upper class. Yes. They are working, they have good salaries, mm. the money can take care of them, they have a house, they might even be landlord, they have cars, they travel abroad, they are children in private school. 
These people are financially stable, okay. but they are the most deceived set of people in that triangle. You know why? Deceived. Yeah, they are deceived because why? they think that all is well, but all is not well. Because oh, one okay. major thing about them is the reason why they are stable is because they have a good source of income. Oh. But the day they lose their job in three months, they are poor. They are go, they are gone down. So you see a lot of all these people that you say these are big boys, they are just they are just poor people. Why? Because once they lose their job now, in mm. 90 days they are poor. Yes. Because everything that they are having mm. is based on the income that is coming. So every month maybe they earn 3.5 million, 5 million, 6 million a month. Yes. So they can even have a house, they are paying money, or they even buy a house or build over time. They have cars, mm. they are traveling abroad, they are children, they have some money in their account. So they think that they are big. But yes. let's one Wanting. crisis hits them, they are back to instability. Let them lose their job, they are back to instability. Wow. Then we now have the people that are in financial independence. Okay. That is where you start talking wealth. So you see, with, with, at that time, you are talking about, at that point, when you are in financial independence, you have come to a point where you have enough assets that the that money that is flowing from the assets can take care of everything you need and more. Whatever crisis so you work, oh, you know work, oh, money is coming. Do you understand now? Mm. So you are now in financial independence. But there's another realm ahead of that is called financial freedom. Wow. So when you now enter financial freedom, it means that it's not only about you. Mm. If you decide to take care of 1,000 people every month, mm. because life is all about impact. You start out with survivor, mm. you become successful, then mm. you move to significance. Oh. But in order for you to come out of survivor, mm. you must have significance mindset at the point of survivor. That's what takes you to success. Wow. So wow. those are the things that a lot of people don't understand. So mm. when you get to financial freedom, it's not about because life is about impact. You are too small to be the purpose of God for your life. How many cars can you drive? How many clothes can you have? So really, life is about impact. Money is a reward for solving the problem. And money is a tool for the fulfillment of purpose. So money is nothing but a tool to make impact. So mm. at that point, that's why you have rich people today that have foundations giving billions away. Mm. Mm. And they are still rich. Mm. Why? Because they are in financial freedom. So, but a lot of people are struggling. They are at the survival level. And they want to blow. But you see, the reason why they cannot become significant is because you don't blow. You grow. When you are struggling, at mm. that struggling time, yes. you must not do have survival mentality. You must have significance mentality. Survival and significance. Yes. Even though you don't have money, you are poor, you are jobless. Mm. Your mindset should be, I want to make an impact. I want oh, to make yeah, a difference. Yeah. I want to be significant. Not I want to make money. It is when you are now making impact, being significant, that you come out of survivor and become successful. How can you become significant without trying to make money? That is the problem. You are not supposed to be looking for money. You are supposed to be looking for problem to solve and impact to make. You see, value mm. is meeting need, solving problem, mm. answering question. So, I'm a poor man. I live in a face where I face you. Mm. I'm squatting with three people. Mm. I don't even have money to buy toothpaste. Mm. I'm jobless. Mm. But in my mind, I want to make impact. So on that, in that compound, mm -hmm. when you say, we need somebody to volunteer to go and be paying Nepal Bay for us. So, oh, since I'm available, I will do that. You are making impact. Ah, ah, we need to do roast to sweep. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, some people will sweep in the morning. You say, no problem. Mm -hmm. When it's your turn to sweep, you sweep. On the street, they say they need people for vigilante that will work from 3, 3 to 6 a.m., two, two hours every night. You volunteer. Mm -hmm. Why? You don't have money. You are a poor man, but you are making impact. Because you may not have money, you have brain. You may not have money, you have time. You may not have money, you have energy. You may not have money, you have life. But people, they, I can't come and keep myself. I beg, I don't. That's why you are still poor. Because nobody will know your value if you don't offer it. Oh. It is as you are doing that without money. They say, ah, okay, one of you that have been volunteering. One day, somebody will now come and say, ah, who are the people say, ah, okay, who are the people that have been doing this job? Ah, they are volunteers. I say, what do they, we don't pay them. They say, hey, ah, okay, let me give them this money. Oh, they do, you don't have a job? Ah, come and work here. That's how it starts. But because we are always thinking survivor, I can't come and kill myself. Have you ever asked yourself, why are people at the bus stop and at the garages? They say they are area boys, they are garage boys. Mm. And they are there all their life begging for money. Ten years later, they are Ten still there. Later. Fifty years, they are still there. They are still there. Why? Do you think that's their destiny? It's because they are thinking survivor. I just want to eat. I just want to eat. Once they start thinking significance and they start thinking impact, they will not be there for too long. But do you think the country has made it become that way that people think of survival these days? Now look at look at the current uh, state we're in. Recession back and forth, hardship left, right, and center. Look, so if someone is thinking of the next daily bread, how, your mindset may not be going towards thinking of what you are going to do rather than what you are going to have for that.